how to describe a bar chart. First off, we need to identify the type of information or data that is best presented through a bar chart. Bar chart should be used when your data is non-continuous, but rather is divided into different categories which do not hold value between them. For instance, categories like types of animals, different species of animals, pass or fail in a test, or types of drinks, or any similar non-continuous or discrete data. Data in a bar chart can be presented horizontally or vertically. They can be in 2D or 3D format. As you can see, bar chart has several parts, namely chart title, y-axis line, y-axis scale, y-axis label, the x-axis line, x-axis scale, x-axis label, legend, and the bars. Now moving on to the main part, how to describe a bar chart. Similar to a pie, bar chart can be explained in four different steps. Step one is to write a general statement of what the bar graph or bar chart is about. To achieve this, you must check information on the chart title, X and Y axis labels, and legend and source if there are any. You may use these English vocabulary to begin your general statement. Looking at this bar chart, the general statement may be stated this way or to this effect. Here are four general statement samples. The first one, this chart presents the July and August sales of Android mobile phone. Second sample, the given bar graph provides information on Android mobile phone sales on the months of July and August. Third, the above bar chart gives a comparative report on the sales of Android phone on the months of July and August. Finally, the fourth sample, the supply chart above shows a comparative data on the sales of Android mobile phone on July and August. The second step is to write a statement on the overall trend depicted on the chart. In this case, we may state it this way. As can be seen, the data presented for both months had an overall fluctuating trend with peaks seen on weeks 2 and 4 and troughs on weeks 1 and 3. However, the variation is minimal. The third step is to go into details. Let me remind you again that going into details doesn't mean describing every single bar in the chart, but rather to group data into highest and lowest, or largest and smallest, or most and least, or any similar groupings appropriate for the presented data and explain them in any of this manner. Please take a moment to read this. A closer look on the details written here, you'll notice that the first two sentences describe both the highest and the lowest data on the chart. The statement that followed next is a brief but concise description of the July sales. And then a comparative statement about the August sales followed, which began with the conjunctive adverb for contrast. 
Please also take note of the chart language used here, such as peaked, drop, fluctuated, went up and down, slightly jumped, and rose. Aside from these, terms like on the other hand and more than are used for comparison purposes. Finally, the fourth step, a brief but concise summary of the data provided in the chart. These transitional words may be used in stating your summary. So in this sample bar chart, we may summarize it this way. Altogether, August has a slightly higher number of Android mobile phone sales than July by 200 units. Putting all the sentences we've written in a paragraph, our bar chart description would look like this.